Okay, so number three is a table that you can put your laptop or computer on. It's got to be a stable table. Okay, so my table is pink. Yeah, I know that's one of the things that you're gonna notice about it. Um, <clears throat> you can get these cheap on Amazon for about eleven eleven dollars, but um, UK, so it's I don't know about nine pound ten pound. Um, it's got these little adjustment fins there, so you can adjust the table size. So let's say I want to make it a tiny bit smaller. You're gonna click this that. With the other hand, you can do the same thing. You can adjust it to whatever size you want. So I do not recommend having this size. But if you want something like a container or something underneath it, then it's a great choice for you. Um, it's got legs, so that's good. I know it sounds weird. Um, so your computer goes there. So I'm gonna. So pretty much the reason I have a pink one is because I thought it was red, and you know. But I don't mind, at least I've got a table. Number two is a laptop or a monitor. So if you've got a table, um, it's gonna work well. Um, so this is gonna work well for step one, step two, and step three. So this is how setups usually look. A computer with a desk, with maybe a storage container underneath. So this is just a standard HP computer. It's pretty good. It's, it's, an, it's a nice one. Um, you can do a lot of stuff in it, um, it's, not, it's not the best, but it, it can do loads of the stuff that many computers can do, so it's good enough for a small YouTuber to start. Before we move on to step 3, um, basically you got a laptop, a table, then underneath you can have a storage container, um, much as the standard green box, you just random crap that I put in it, um, so you know, that's just, just to show you that um, container go under there now, number three is obviously a speaker so we want a speaker to you know dance to them beats you know um i'm not gonna say anything because you know i'm not a very good dancer but um that's three of them um i'm gonna get straight on to number four which is very mm -hmm. step four step one two from the looks like this so it's pretty good for setup step four is obviously a phone holder or an iPad stand, something like that, so you can hold another device. Um, now, this concludes well because step five is going to blend in very well if you want to set up a dual or triple monitor display. Um, now, I do not have a another monitor, but what I do have is an iPad with TeamViewer on, so I'm going to show you how to connect that. And the steps so far should look a little bit like this. Um, I'll put the speaker around there. And obviously for step one you're gonna need a power cord, power bank, something. Um so you know um this is not where my setup is. My setup is around there, but I've moved it for the sake of the video. Um and at the end I'm gonna show you the things where you can get all the products. Um so I got the speaker at Sainsbury's. Um no it sounds weird. And I got the table from eBay, so I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to buy it. Um, I am not actually um, gonna make money from any of this, just, you know, just a showcase of what you can get. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how to configure um, TeamViewer so to get so double If you don't like wires um, with your mouse, I would recommend getting the Logitech or Logitech. Logitech, I don't know what it's called. It's a really good wireless mouse that you can plug in to your PC. So it just goes in one of the USB ports at the side. Um, that's a nice feature if you don't like much wires around your setup. Configure it on a iPad or an iOS device. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to, um, you're gonna go on the App Store and you're gonna search TVR. And when you do it, you're gonna download it and you're gonna have to log into an account to set it up. Um, so I'm gonna sign in right away. So, so when I'm, so whilst I'm signing, think about all the things that you would like in your setup, and you know, one day you might get them. You know, you, you just might be lucky one day. Um, so basically, you need to create an account. I'm not gonna show you how to create an account, but I'm gonna show you once you've configured your account, you're gonna get something like this. Um, so you need to add, to add a list of computers. 
And so to do that, you're going to add here and you're going to put the ID. So basically, you have to set up Team Manager on your computer that you want to do it on as well. So ID, alias, password, the group that's in, and the description. So that, that, my camera just glitched. Um, so basically, what you're going to do is you're going to connect to one of the computers. Uh, so I've only got one computer right now, so I'm going to show you how it will look okay, like. So I'll leave the link to the description where you can get Team Viewer. So, um, I'm gonna cover up my ID and password, but what you're gonna do is you're just gonna get on your iOS or Android device, and the list of computers is gonna be there, and you're gonna click on it, and then you're gonna go remote control, and this is basically just gonna screen it on your other device, and when you click OK, boom, look what you got. Dual display. Click on right. So that's basically it for today's video. Um, if you want to get a setup like this, all the links will be in the description. Um, it's a pretty good setup for a small YouTuber like myself. So I'm gonna use this. And obviously, if you want to exit out the app or unlock the computer, um, you can do that. Um, I'll show you in another video how to actually configure it. So this is just a small little thing because this I haven't really shown you how to actually configure it. Just how to kind of configure it. So, you know, I'll see you next time and I hope you enjoyed the video. And that was the top list of things that you can get for a small YouTube setup. So, goodbye.